Today on Dockside TV, we're fishing after one of the biggest snowstorms South Louisiana's ever seen, but the fish are biting. We're catching bass, redfish, and speckled trout. Stay tuned for this episode of Dockside TV. reds we catching right here we had a little spot right here I'm gonna show you you can kind of see that little slough it ain't it's not much a little bitty slough dipping out from the marsh and the fish are congregated I mean that's a that's a beauty using that lemon head and a tiger bait matrix 3 8 I'm gonna go ahead and tag this fish and then talk about this style of fishing and why it's like this. Let's go ahead and get this tag in the water. This is tag number 16,789. Them tag numbers are getting up there, getting high now, as we just made 20,000 tags. We want to do some tagging. Let me, let me tag this beautiful bass, get him out there. Remember, if you can't recapture this fish, win a prize from matrixshed.com. Call a number on a tag here. Let's let this one go. That's a beauty. Hey, buddy, I know you ain't that cold. Come on. There he goes. Sometimes it takes them a second. I know my hands are freezing right now. And my hands are freezing because about two days ago, we had the, the biggest snowstorm right here in South Louisiana that I may have ever seen. Some areas from Denham Springs, Baton Rouge, all the way to Lutcher, areas like that. All the way up as north as Hattiesburg. Some places had snow for 10, 12 hours. We had it right here off of Lake Pontchartrain, I'd say for about three hours, and there's some pretty good flurries. So what you're gonna get when you get weather that cold, is obviously you're gonna get a water temperature drop. The other thing you're gonna get is the water is going to drop because when a front of that magnitude is gonna have west and northwest winds behind it. And that's what makes the water drop. And as you can see, it's solid land way off the bank. And what that does is we like to fish these deep canals. What it does is it just sucks everything from the little duck ponds around the canals, little ditches, creeks. The, the fish can't be in there because they're dry land now. So it just consolidates everything into the deeper water so it's and it's getting real cold for them at night so they need to find really you know a little bit of depth and this particular canal has about 20 foot in the middle of it and I'm throwing it up right on the bank working it way off and we're catching a few trout today 
But whenever the weather's like this, after a front, bluebird skies, low water, cold water, the, the water dropped like 10 degrees in four days, which is insane. It's an insane drop. There he is. Oh. Go ahead and put a pop of pig. And anyway, what I was saying is we are catching a couple trout, but you want to focus on spots that you've had success on with bass and redfish on days like this. Now, it doesn't mean the trout fishing shot for the winter. It just means it could be pretty hard on a day like this. So why, why fish for something hard when the reds and the bass are much easier? Let's let this little rascal go. Oh, what tag number is this? This is number 16,765. Off he goes, unharmed. But I love the winter time. Sometimes I have a tough time finding the fish. Might take me an hour or two, might take me two or three days. But when I find them in the, the, the you know, the, the middle of the winter, when it gets real cold, water temperatures get down in the, the low 50s, wherever you find them, they're not going anywhere for a long, for a while. And you can just go right back to certain spots where you find them and catch them day in and day out. Dude, this fish just hit as soon as it hit the water. I thought I was on your line, but I didn't even do nothing. It just went to jig it and there's weight on here. I don't even know how good I got him hooked. What causes the low water when you get the mud on the banks like you see right here, it's the west, west winds, northwest winds. It's going to drive the water out of Lake Pontchartrain, into Lake Bourne, and out to the Gulf. And typically when that happens, it's going to dingy up the water a good bit. We've had really clean water conditions. And then this comes through and it, it made it stained. So we've been using clearer colors before the front. Now I'm gonna go into more of my brighter colors that I have confidence in, in the uh, more stained water. But, you know, it's as long as you can see your trolling motor, the head of the trolling motor, which is 12 to 20 inches down, that's plenty clean enough. Redfish don't really care at all. We catch them in very dirty conditions. Where the trout, on the other hand, they're gonna like it 16 to 22 inches of visibility usually. But redfish, I mean, we've caught them with visibility up to five, six inches before. Some of my best days come in really dirty water for the redfish. Let's see if we can get one right here. What you do is you're gonna, when you find a, you know, you fish these man-made canals, these deep canals, this time of year, and it don't matter if you're fishing a Pontchartrain Basin, Lafitte, Grand Isle, Homa, they're all, it, marsh fishing's the same. You know, you, when it gets brutally cold, those fish are gonna look for the deepest canals around the marsh estuary, around the duck ponds and the, you know, the more ponds and creeks and tributaries in a certain region, the better. And then they're gonna focus on that one that's the deepest and has the best drop-offs. Typically, it's man-made canals, straight canals, dead-end canals. You know, when we go down to the Chalmette area, there's a lot of industrial um, type of canals that are made for barges to go through, which naturally is gonna be really deep stuff. in here. Ooh. Well, a 
beautiful red. We got plenty for the grill tonight, so we can even tag some of the keepers. Another one with that lemon head. This fish is ice cold. She goes hand in hand with them bundling up. Let's get a tag any. Tag number 16785. Show you this matrix tag. It's going to be a blue tag with a reward number on there. Call that reward number. Win a prize from matrixshed.com. I can tell you this. We have littered the marsh today with fish with tags in them. That will produce winning prizes from matrixshed.com. You ought to see the uh, ratio start going up. Just got 20,000 tags in, and we plan on using them. We had to tag 20 fish today already. say about 20 minutes with not much action came to one little bitty indention little slough in the bank and these reds this size Hit one and the rest of it. that's it find one as my friend mr. Brooks Levy likes to call it find that nest are we all up in that nest get on up here oh that get much better than this, guys. Redfish one after the other. When I grab them, they're ice cold. On that 3 8 ounce golden eye. Only in Louisiana. Whenever water temperatures are above 54, 55, what kind of focus and have hopes of getting into the speckle trout in some of these canals, but when it's in the low 50s, our, our sights turn towards the reds more or bass as they, they seem like they got a little bit thicker skin and can handle those cold water temperatures better. And when we're fishing these canals like this, we find certain areas seem to hold the the reds and the bass better or the trout might be you know a lot of times in the winter if you are on a trout bite they might be off in the middle more where the reds are closer to the bank but if you're just not getting any trout bites or not many oh my goodness that might have been a trout bite that felt like it you know we'll eliminate the the casting deep into the deep water and only focus on the shallower parts where the bass and redfish may be hanging out. That trout. Nice trout. And that's what we're saying. We're not catching many trout, but when you get them, it's a good one like this. Look at the size of that fish. That's a solid 18, 19 inch speckle trout in the marsh hanging out with these big bruiser reds. They got to be big to hang out with these big redfish like this. All right, when you're fishing these deep canals like this, you want to be able to target all the way up to the bank to the boat 
start your drifts off making long casts. That way you can pinpoint whether or not the fish are up close to the grass line. Are they deep in that 10 to 20 foot of water underneath the boat? Right now, they're about at that intermediate level, about seven foot, right off that first drop. Him. That was him. And the fun part about fishing in the dead of the winter in these marsh canals like this is that you never know what you're going to catch. One cast might be a bass, the next be a red, next be a trout. Typically the trout you catch in the marsh in the dead of the winter too is going to be, you're not going to get them little schoolies too often. You might only get eight or ten trout, but they're going to be nice fish. Pretty big red here. It's funny, these reds are either 15, 16 inches, which we're tagging them and throwing them back, or they're beautiful slots in that four to seven pound range. Not too much in between. don't break but the net does look at that too much wear and tear on this net <laughs> oh boy look at this tackle busting net busting red here beautiful fish let's get a weight on it Ten and a half pounder. Beauty. Beautiful. down the bank we left those that spot alone just to cover some water and just see how good this canal is and come up to another slough again can't stress the importance of that got a little water coming out that slough there and I mean it it don't have to be but the smallest little difference in the bank it's gonna hold fish. In this particular slough, it's ganged up. It's mostly rat reds, and that's okay because we're wanting to tag them once today. Got tag number 16745. Put him in here.
one six seven four five going out recapture that one win a prize for matrix we're putting some prizes in the water today all right guys we into them pretty good we've tagged a bunch keeping some for the grill we got them all over the floor got some big trout down there reds got another red made a quick dockside tv episode we're gonna go ahead and enjoy ourselves get in on some of this action i'm gonna give a quick flip on this one here we go one two three that shows the strength of that matrix line it's a 17 pound matrix line and we definitely switch to that when it's redfish season in the marsh high vis matrix line so the point of today's episode is don't think the fishing shuts down after a snowstorm a lot of times it can gang the fish up lemon head been pretty hot color today matrix shad don't let the cold scare you, get you some good winter gear. Get out here and get in on the action. For all other episodes, we got plenty on fishing this time of year on Dockside TV. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all the episodes publishing at December, January, February time. Learn how to catch these wintertime fish. Pick you up some Matrix Sheds from matrixshed.com and book your charters at 985-707-9049 with some of our Matrix Shed Pro Staffers. Until next time, good fishing.